Okay. In a good way. I think Eric might oh, Lord. object. All right, with us now, we got Republican Congress from Wisconsin and member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, Representative Sean Duffy, and in Washington Post Surprise winning columnist and associate editor of the Washington Post, MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson. Uh, so let me start with you, Congressman Foreign I Affairs. I first say that I think Mika looks great in that thank, picture. Well, thank you. Thank, you. Lovely. thank you so he's much. So he's good at what he does. What, whatever. He's a whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, good at getting in the way of talking about does real he, issues. Not a word he's saying. Uh, so uh, let's talk really quickly about ISIS. What's happening? Uh, you've got Jordan yep. actually stepping to the forefront. Yep. Um, when are we going to have more countries step forward and, and, and do this fighting so we don't have to? And the question is, when do we step forward? And I mean, listen, if, if we're going to look to the to the rest do of the world, do we step forward? We, well, we haven't yet, and I think we have to call this what it is. It's a real threat. Um, I do think you need to have the Middle East engaged, but right. at one point the president has to put out a strategy that's going to. So, lead what's your strategy, ISIS? Well, I, I, I think at one point to say, hey, you know what? We're going to take all of our troops out of Iraq. Right. Um, I think that was a mistake. Okay, so, look, so but, but look. But listen, so Democrats can say it's Bush's fault for putting us there. Okay. Republicans can say it's Obama's fault for taking him out too quickly. We are where we are now. Okay. What do we do? So if you're going to drop a few bombs right. and think you're going to defeat ISIS, it's not going to so happen. So what do we do? So I think you, need, you do need some troops on the ground or special forces. You need to engage because... U.S. troops. Yes. Because if you don't, um, I think what's going to come, whether it's uh, uh, two years, three years, four years, um, you are going to have a much larger engagement. Tens of thousands of young Americans are going to go to the Middle East, hundreds of billions of dollars will be spent. You can address this problem more easily today if so, you actually so, so, to defeat them. So, Gene Robinson, we've been talking about Stop this for some time, you and me, since 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. talking about getting out of Afghanistan. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, the congressman now is making an argument that a lot of people like John McCain were making about Syria, say, three years ago. We can step in now before it gets too costly. We waited too long. I wouldn't have supported an invasion of Syria. But at the same time, we have to sit back now and look and say, well, you know what? Syria could have been taken care of earlier, but then it got too ugly. Do we make the same argument about ISIS now or do we just stay away? Well, the question is, what do you need? If, if you're going to talk about some sort of modified, limited engagement with ground troops, what are you really talking about? And I frankly doubt that just putting a few spotters in and a few more trainers in, um, wearing actual boots that are actually on the ground, yeah. is, is going to make this huge difference. I mean, yes, if we wanted to, to you know, clear out Syria, right. we could do it with tens of thousands of troops uh, but uh, but what are we going to do with 1,000 or 2,000 right. except put American lives at risk mm -hmm. and and frankly in my view not change right. the balance of Will, power really guys you know congressman there are probably people listening at home hearing you say we should put in a few troops who heard the same thing before Afghanistan who heard right. the same thing before <laughs> Iraq that was a decade and a half ago we'll go yeah. wipe out al-qaeda wipe out the Taliban we'll be out yeah. history's taught us there's no such thing as a small quick clean war people are tired of this and they I know agree. that you're not going to just go in with a thousand troops and end this it's going to have to escalate well so I, I do town halls all the time I know in my own district and around America uh, people are tired of war a lot of and skepticism they're, and, they're huh? and they're tired of the Middle East yeah um, but I also think this strategy isn't working and as you see uh, this administration, I think, giving ISIS time uh, to expand their territory, to bring in more money and recruit more jihadists, they only strengthen. And so you are going to deal with it in America one day. Yeah. And so do we deal with it today, which is a tough political decision. It takes leadership and you've got to sell the American people on it. Yeah. Do you do it today or do you wait until tomorrow when it's far more expensive? Yeah. Um, I, I, I am also concerned about sending young men in, but I'm also okay. a realist as well. What happens down the road? On another uh, topic, yeah. really quickly. You know, there is, there is, um there is the outlines of, of a de facto strategy here uh, that we've seen emerge. The president really hasn't enunciated it this way, but the strategy seems to be uh, actually try to roll back ISIS in Iraq and let what happens happens in Syria. And what happens basically is that is that Assad remains in power and rolls up the, the sort of what we call the moderate Syrian rebels, and he fights ISIS. He takes back his country. 
country, and, and, and that seems to be the strategy. I, but but the, 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 the point that we're having a conversation about what seems to be the strategy is, is just the point the president doesn't have a strategy, and I think a lot of people are concerned about the language that he uses. Yeah. He won't say radical extremism, uh, Muslim extremism, and uh, he goes to the prayer breakfast and makes comments that offends a lot of Christians. And by the way, if you look at the politics of middle America, right. um, there's a lot of Democrat Christians. Um, they might be you know, liberal on social issues. They might want bigger government, but they are truly offended by what he said in regard to you know, the Crusades right. and trying to compare that today to ISIS with their, with their beheadings, their burning of people, their right. crucifixion of little children. All right, Congressman Sean Duffy, thank you. Gene Robinson, thank you as well. Do you use you. really use Snapchat? I do, absolutely, all the time. Okay, stay away from that. It's Great way to communicate. communicate. What's that? Great way to communicate. <laughs> really? Okay. <That's> right. <laughs> Willie and I will have to look into it. Said that. We're going to be re reading your provocative new column, Gene, in today's Washington.